P0620 code, that's generator control circuit. This one basically means your car's computer is saying, hey, I can't properly control or talk to the alternator. Sometimes it's just a loose wire or a tired alternator. Sometimes it's a sign your charging system's about to give up. Let's walk through it. First off, what's going on? Your alternator's job is to keep the battery charged and power all the electrical stuff while the engine's running. The PCM engine computer tells it when to charge more or less. P0620 means the PCM doesn't like what it's seeing on that control circuit. Maybe it's getting no signal. Maybe the signal's weird. Maybe it's not getting through at all. Step one, check the battery. A weak or dying battery can make the alternator work harder, cause voltage spikes, and trigger this code. Grab a multimeter, engine off, a healthy battery should read around 12.6 volts. If it's way lower, charge or replace it before chasing anything else. Step 2. Check charging voltage. Fire up the engine, check across the battery terminals. You should see roughly 13.5 to 14.8 volts depending on temperature and load. If it's way below that, the alternator might not be charging. If it's way above, the alternator's regulator could be cooked. Step 3. Inspect wiring and connectors. The alternator's got two main things, a big battery cable B+, and a smaller plug for control and feedback. That little plug is where P0620 trouble often hides. Look for corrosion, broken wires, melted plastic. Gently tug the wires. If one stretches or snaps, you just found the problem. Make sure the alternator's ground strap to the engine block is solid too. Step 4. Test the control signal. If you've got a scan tool or a scope, you can actually see if the PCM is trying to command the alternator. No command signal? Could be PCM or wiring. Command signal present, but alternators ignoring it bad alternator or bad internal voltage regulator. Step five, rule out the simple stuff. Loose serpentine belt, glazed or cracked. If the alternator pulley is just freewheeling under load, you'll get all kinds of charging issues. Aftermarket alternators can also be trouble. Some cheap rebuilds don't play nice with the PCM's control circuit. Last resort, PCM issues. It's rare, but possible. If you verify the battery, alternator, wiring, and belt, and the control signal still doesn't behave, the PCM could be faulty, but test everything else before going there. PCMs are expensive and often need programming. So, my order is, test battery health and voltage. Check charging voltage with engine running. Inspect alternator wiring, connectors, and grounds. Verify control signal from PCM. Check belt condition tension. Only then think alternator replacement or PCM. Nine times out of 10, P0620 is just wiring. A tired alternator or a bad connection. Work through it in order and you can save yourself from throwing parts at it. If this helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.